Welcome to Effects number one stop to entertainment and trending news. I think now we can say we know the reason why Vera Sadika kicked Maxwell Mamburi, aka Anti Maxine, from her house. And the real reason is that Vera Sadika can be friends with members of the LGBTQ plus community, but what she will not allow is the influence of the community to her children. You can cross dress all you want out there, but when you are in her house around her children, you will dress well. She does not want a man wearing makeup and clothes confusing her children. She wants to preserve the innocence of her children and that's it. And so Maxwell shared a clarification as you can see. Let me clarify. She didn't chase me out of the house the night I said she did. I was sipping Hennessy that night. It was an argument about coming out. Her point was I can cross dress all I want just not in front of her kids just yet till they are of age to understand about genders which is totally okay. I mistook the statement and overreacted. Otherwise, let the queen reign. Maxwell also shared, I miss my best friend. It's always lit when we outside. He also took to congratulate Rasdika on her second baby, putting out congratulations on baby number two. I predicted it was going to be a boy the day she told me. Can't wait to spoil baby number two. You know, Hunty Maxine goes all out. He also shared a couple of videos of them parting together where he put out the only queen who throws real parties we don't fake over here. Here I was so shy, fuchs, couldn't even talk or laugh along. Anyone who says Vera Sadika is a fake is a hater. She's the purest of souls. He also referenced her behind is real, money, what you see is what you get and more. Let me give the flowers where they deserve and are alive. And of course, with all that he's posting online, Vrasdika puts out a need new haters. The old ones are starting to like me. And so people thought that she was hitting back at Maxwell. Well, she decided to make a clarification and put out this was just in general and it was not about Maxwell. But well, the timing, you cannot blame the fans for questioning. Are you talking about Maxwell in your stories? Let me tell you something. If I want to speak someone direct, I would tag them. Okay, I'm not scared of nobody, no bitch, no bitch nigga, nothing. I'm not speaking about anyone in particular, just in general, because I feel like I do have a lot of fans, no haters. I think all my haters are beginning to like me and uh, it's boring. I think many will agree with Vera's Dekas standpoint. Children are very, very innocent. They are like sponges. They soak everything around them. And she has the right as a mother. And you can see that mommy mode kicking in. This time, she's not a socialite. She's not a businesswoman. She's there to protect her children. And she feels like cross-dressing around her children might not be of positive influence, at least until they are of age to make that decision for themselves. But until then, she's going to protect her children at all costs. And you can see even some of the reactions from fans. For what it's worth, V, Mark's comment on your rule made me respect you more. I mean, kudos for being a good friend, but standing against anyone confusing your kids. Mm -hmm. And there were lots and lots of comments um, hinting the same as well, that they were very, very proud of Vera Sadika to stand her ground. Somebody can be your friend, you can support them in the journey as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. But when it comes to your children, you have to make a stand that they can do whatever they want out there. But when it comes to your children, when they are around your children, then that is the point that you don't want a man who is wearing makeup and uh, cross-dressing and wearing wigs. That is what Vera Sadika does not not want around her home anyway i don't know what you might think about that do you agree with vera sadika's stance as a mother and of course some members of the lgbtq plus community might not be happy with it they will say that that is selective supporting of the community some might even think that you're giving out traits of homophobia and i think maybe it was a couple of months ago i shared with you guys the popular cartoon for young kids Peppa Pig and they had introduced a LGBTQ plus couple in it and parents were really really outraged I shared with you guys some of uh, the reaction from people and they felt that there was an agenda that was being forced down their children's throats it's on their screens it's everywhere but LGBTQ plus community feel that they need representation and that is exactly what needs to be happening mm -hmm. maybe at this point there needs to be channels or rather even programs that center around nuclear family that is the father the mother 
the children and the lgbtq plus community who want to have that representation for their perhaps own children they need to have also cartoons that center around lgbtq plus so that they can show their children those kind of cartoons or even children's programs and right now what we see is that the adults have no problem at all when they do whatever they want to do but when it comes to their children that is where they will draw the line they do not want that influence around their children and that is exactly what Versdika has done when it comes to her friendship with Maxwell. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts on this in the comment section down below, but you're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't for this and more updates. Hit your notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified once you have any new uploads. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.